evening. I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> I had to go and get the the babies back in the house because they were out back. And uh, Johnny falls asleep in his chair, and they'll be out there barking and carrying on and wanting in, and and I'll be on here. Hi, Miranda. So I was trying to trick them to come in the house, and Cleo caught on to my trick real quick. <laughs> She's smarter than Tut like that. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> Did you have a good weekend, Miranda? Ooh, I'm a shaking. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to shake it. It's a shaking. Let me see if I can get it straight. I don't even think it's straight. Oh. Here we go. Let me see if I can find myself. My laptop over here. Let's get the sound down. I know I'm on here somewhere. There I am. I knew I was here somewhere. There I am. All right. I've got two cards ready. Okay, let me see. I'm glad you are too. Oh my goodness. Trying to figure out a new schedule. It's going to be fun to be with friends. Oh. It's always fun to be with friends. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. I'll tell you, I make the cashier schedule at work and the head cashiers, and uh, I've mixed it up some, and my head cashiers were not happy with me. Uh, they're going to get over it sooner or later. We've been doing this for about a month now, and they had not got over it yet, but, you know. <laughs> I'll just it's been the same old same old for so long i decided i just mix it all up so when i'm really complained but it didn't change my mind but anyway like i said i have got two cards ready and whoo it is hot here in alabama south of us has got a little bit of storms but it's not going to get up as far as us which we need the rain so much but you know it is what it is and we're not in drought situations yet but changes happen we just have to that's right adjust and have an attitude that honors god i know hi shelly lee glad you joined us i know miranda but uh, i'm i'm afraid that uh there's one of my head cashiers that I'm not sure what her situation is. She won't talk about it. So, you know, I just pray for her. That's all. Hi, Debbie Jones. Glad you're here. I've got two cards ready. I don't know what ever happened to... I'm going to make my both of my cards out of the same stamp set that kind of went out the window some while back. <laughs> I'm using two different sets this today our first card let me see what did i oh, we're using country home thank you miranda using country home i'm using this little um milk can <laughs> i'm going to be using happy harvest blessings on the front and simply thankful for all the good things on the inside, and then I'm using this. I'm not sure what it is, but I wanted to get something that's going to tie the envelope in with my card. So I stamped this on the inside and wait until you see what it did. <laughs> I kind of pay me to. I can not see comments, but I can come. Well, that's odd. Huh. Wow. Anyway. I kind of messed it up whenever I stamped it on the inside. And I'm going to do my inside a little different than I did my practice card because I thought of something after the fact, after I put the inside in, after I put my uh, my layer on the inside. So my uh, the card we're going to make tonight is going to be just a smidgen different, but not a whole lot. Anyway, whatever that is, I'm using it. I'm using it on the envelope too. Ooh, I am so hot. Alrighty, let's get started. We are using... Here's our envelope. Whisper White Thick, eight and a half, five and a half. I've got it scored at four and a quarter. We're going to go ahead and 
give it a fold and get our bone folder over here and give it a nice crease while I get everything that's dusty on my countertop on it. Let's see, there we go. It's going to go in this direction with it. Oh, we are also using our uh, Stitch Shapes Frameless dies. We're using the ovals, using two sizes. Uh, the biggest one in the next one. We're also using our uh, rectangle stitch frameless dies. We're using two different sizes on that of that also. And of course we're using dimensionals. Why would I not? You know, I have to use my dimensionals. Anyway, we have got some of the um 2019-2021 in color 6x6 six six, and I cut this down to 5 and 3 fourths by 4 and a fourth. That's going to be our first layer. Then I have some smoky slate. I have uh, let me see. I've got well, what did I just do? Let me, oh, I know what I did. This is four and a fourth by three. That's supposed to be, anyway. Let me make sure. <laughs> I am not even positive anymore. Four and a fourth. Yep, that's four and a fourth by three. And then that's going to go under our four by two and three force on the inside. See, I did not use a smoky slate on the inside of the one that, uh, my sample one but then I can't I thought of it after like I said after the fact I have a scrap piece of whisper white thick I'm going to stamp on in color we have uh, two scrap pieces of scraps here one of whisper white thick and one another one of smoky slate and of course I knew I had another piece of smoky slate for something and that's what it was <laughs> this is I need this okay now then, we're going to go ahead and we're going to color first before I totally lose my mind. I don't know where I'm at today. <laughs> it's been a day. It has been a day, but it's been okay. Not too awful bad. Not too awful bad. I got a lot of work on time for a change. Hi, Laquita. Hi, Jesse. So glad y'all were here. Yay. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. I'll tell you what, uh, I finally, finally placed my holiday catalog order. My, um, I was trying to, look there what I just did. I just sent y'all for a spin nearly. I was trying to save up my um, crafting allowance to get a bigger order, but then I thought, you know, I'm not... This is not going very fast. <laughs> i got to have some of this stuff. So I went ahead and I adapted my order to uh, the budget I had at, right now. And I uh, went ahead and sent it in. So I'll be getting some stuff and be using it really soon. I'm so excited. I'm really excited. I'm going to go ahead and stamp everything else too while I'm at it. Right here we're going to stamp... Um, Happy Harvest Blessings on this Whisper White Thick right here. And I got those little fuzzy thingies that come off of the um, stitched shape dies, you know, off of the edges. For some reason, they seem to be worse on those than they are on any of the rest of them. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's okay. But it just, they seem to be everywhere. We're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp simply thankful for all the good times. And I don't even know if y'all can see. Your order will be here tomorrow. Mine won't be here tomorrow, Jesse. The only thing that's coming tomorrow is my catalogs. And I got some of those little bags. Because I spent my flex points because I knew I, well, I wasn't going by Maui. So I went ahead and used my flex points, and that's coming tomorrow, but uh, my order, I haven't even looked today, so I don't know when it's going to be here. 
it'll be here when it's here, I guess. I have to work all this weekend, so whenever it gets here, I'll be excited, and I'll be off Tuesday and Wednesday next week so I can play. <laughs> so, woohoo! I'm excited for that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, stamp this little thing here. I'll tell you what, my other one, I didn't get it stamped real good, so I decided I'm going to line it back up and restamp it. Well, I didn't line it back up real well. <laughs> it's kind of blurry. Go ahead and stamp this on my uh, envelope. See, now this ties my card in with my envelope. I didn't know what else to use. So I thought, okay, that's part of the stamp set. That's what we're going to use. So, it ties it all together. <laughs> Yay! Yay for me. Okay, we are using two Stampin' Blends. We're using the uh, Smoky Slate like in Light and Dark Combo. And I am going to color my um, milk can. And first of all, I'm going to um, do a little shading over here. Just a little, not a whole lot, just some down through here. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to do all of this right here in the dark smoky slate. I tell you, I thought, boy, I wish I had some of the the new uh, Stampin' Blends. I have not got to order those yet um, because I could have colored this in a color, but this is okay. A gray milk can is a-okay. It's not going to hurt a thing. And uh, I like it. I like it anyway. Even if it is gray. My mother never painted her milk cans a color. She painted most of hers. What color did she paint hers? She painted them a darker color. Black, I think. Last year, when this came out, I did a card in almost the color that the color like she used, and now I can't even think of what color it is. And we've got her milk cans. Johnny, I'm not sure where Johnny put them out in the shed, I think. Which I don't know if I'm crazy about them being out in the shed, but he did have them on the back deck, and I didn't like that because it got rained down, so he moved them. You know, so. I need to do something with them. I probably need to. I think those were black. I need to repaint them a nice color and bring them in the house. That's what I need to do. You know what they need to a stamp? They need to make. They need to make a farm stamp with a with a uh, butter churn and things like that. Because I've got my. I'm not sure which great grand great 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 grandparents it was, but it was their butter churn, and my mama ended up with it. I, I think it's probably on my grandmother's side of the family somewhere. But anyway, I have it, and I, uh, it's in the back bedroom because I did, we didn't want the dogs to chew on it. Oh, hi, Kaylee! Glad you're here. Woohoo! Yay! Alrighty, let me see. I'm gonna get over here just a moment and Yeah, Shelly, that I used the Flex Points to order me some more catalogs and some of the holiday catalogs and uh then some of those little bags because I knew I wasn't going on the incentive trip either. Plus I used enough of it to go to on stage. In November so I didn't have to pay out of pocket you know for my um, entry fee so I, I used some for that also so I you know okay now then I know what I'm just doing we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the big shot work real quick this goes with this this goes with this this goes with this <laughs> yes I I have to get it in my head, which goes with which. <laughs> no, la, la, today. You know? You know, ever, uh, uh, everybody's had those la, la days. Let me tell you. I am doing a new Bible study, 
and it's uh, Psalms 23. And I'm a little behind. It started last Tuesday, and I'm just finishing up last week's. <laughs> I'm, I'm slow <laughs> with this one. For some reason or another, I've, I've not uh, jumped right in, although it is awesome. And um, we, one of the things, the, the book is the study book, too, and you do your... Um, your writings and things in the the book itself it, it doesn't some of these studies I ha, I do or these um, Bible studies that I do you you have a separate uh, notebook or something like that that you do that stuff in but uh, this one it's really neat you do it all right in the book and uh, Finishing up last week's, you had to use adjectives to name yourself. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's not easy. You know, you're supposed to do this study. It says it's awesome if you do it in a group. Well, I'm not a group. I'm a one person here. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it's a it's a group that I'm doing it through online on Facebook. But I don't have a group here that's doing it. So, so it's kind of strange whenever you have to do adjectives about yourself. But that was pretty interesting today, though, I thought. So, I'm going to get finishing caught totally up tomorrow. <laughs> That's my plan. That's my plan anyway. Who knows? Sharon has lots of plans that go away. Array. Real quick. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Let's get this out of the way. I seem to be chattering more than I'm, I'm working here. Okay, we're going to put this together because I want this. Because, see, I've got a back drop to this. I have a back layer to this. See these little things right here? <laughs> anyway, and I thought, why did I need to do that for my inside piece? And I had already glued it down. And I thought, oh, too late. I'll do it on, on this card. So... I'm doing it on this one. And uh, I chose Smoky Slate because that's the color I colored the um, milk can in. But my uh, DSP is a uh, pretty peacock. But I think this Smoky Slate goes just fine with this pretty peacock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think it goes together just fine. See. Alrighty. Seem to yeah. Scooch that a little. Ta da! Hi Norma. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. Yeah, there's some more of that stuff. Let me throw it up there. So we're gonna put this right here. Okay, it's crooked. Recommended. Let's straighten it up. Now then, that looks pretty good. Now see, this is what I had everywhere while I go. Thought I'd gotten it all off of here, but obviously not. Okay, we're going to put our layers on our card here. I like this script side. But for this card, I wanted this side, and I was going to go this away, but I cut it wrong, so I said, okay, we'll just go this away. It's all right. It looks just fine. You know, just adapt to your... It's not a mistake. It was it was an honest mistake. Mm, no. I just goofed. <laughs> and I just went with my goof. That's what I did. Went with my goof. Yeah. Okay. Now then, I'm liking this though. And I'm liking this pretty peacock. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to get some more of this um, 6x6 DSP because I have used nearly every bit of mine. I am almost down to just scraps. And uh, so I'm going to have to order some more of this. I'm going to have to look and see if that's on the buy. Um, or buy. 
three get one free <laughs> i couldn't even think bye 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 <laughs> you know i have to buy <laughs> i'm gonna have to look because if it is i've got to get some and i know there's some other the dsp i have not gotten yet that i want to get also okay we're going to put dimensionals right here there they are they're hiding down here look at there look at that stuff it's just everywhere so let me grab me some of these babies and put I cannot have my corners sagging down on this at all. I almost have enough on my fingers. We're going to it's plenty on here, so this won't be saggy. They're perfect. Throw those over there. Now, we have us a piece of burlap. I'm going to put that on my card with uh, blue dots. I'm going to use two because if you put one, it does this number. So I am going to use two. And I'm going to put it. I decide where my milk can. Yeah, right there. I'm going to put it about right there. I'm going to put my milk can there. Put my sentiment right there. And we will have this card done. Yay! I need to put my little garbage bin right up here, but the only thing is, I'll probably be hitting it all the time. I have no idea what that is. Is that off here? Okay. Set that right there. Tell you, this is not sitting in the same place and in the same way as my other one. But you know what? It almost is. <laughs> and it's okay. Because can do your creations any way you like and if you do two they don't have to be exactly alike because there's no way I can ever get mine exactly alike unless I'm measuring everything and I'm not taking that much time nope I am not okay I'm gonna lay this right here just like that get our ribbon snips on your head them and we're going to snip this away. And we're going to snip this away. And get that old stuff right there. And here's our envelope. Here's my first one. And see, I did not put that layer in here. I was an afterthought and I think I like it better with this smoky slate layer back behind the whisper white and see where I have messed it up right down here in this corner and did not get that stamped and so I thought I'm going to line it back up where you can see as you can see I did not line it up it's a little off but that's okay it's okay they're going to think I meant to do that you know mm -hmm. or they may even think that the stamps made that way who knows Anyway, it's all right. Anyway, I love this card. Yay. I'll tell you what, I cannot wait until I get my uh, fall stuff. Because I tell you, I am so ready for fall. Thank you, Miranda. Thank you, Kaylee. I am so, so ready for fall to be here. It is so hot here in Alabama, and it is just so muggy. Hey, muggy, muggy, muggy. It's like you can't breathe hardly. All right, we're going to use lots of things on this next card. We're going to use rectangle stitched um, frameless die. We're going to use that smallest one that we did on this other card. We are going to be using the uh, woodland textured folder. We are going to use the... Um, the biggest oval, yep, layering ovals die. Using that, we are using 
Rooted in Nature. We're going to be using to thank you for all you do. Words are never enough. Also, using this tree from the Rooted in Nature and the single tree here. And we are using the um, big tree and the little tree dies from the uh, Nature's Roots Frameless dies. So that's what we're using on this card. Then we are also going to be using our Stamparatus so I can get everything better lined up. <laughs> I have not stamped the envelope to this card because I did not move my die because I'm going to, um, or my stamp because I'm going to use the stamp from this little, this one small tree to uh, stamp on my envelope. And so I thought I'll wait and do the envelope for the first one when I do this one. Okay. Of course, we're going to be using dimensionals. Whisper White Thick, uh, eight and a half, five and a half. Got it scored at four and a quarter. We're going to lay it over, give it a nice good crease like this. We're going this away. We have, here's our envelopes. We have two pieces of crumb cake. These are five and three fourths by um, four and a fourth. We have a piece of crumb cake that I am going to cut the oval from. I have a piece of crumb, nope, this, this is, no, nope. let me take that back. I'm going to, yep, that's what I'm going to cut the oval from. This is, uh, let me see, this piece, this is my four by two and three quarters piece, I do believe. Let me make sure. I don't want to get this all mixed up. Yep. This is going on the inside with our sentiment stamped on it. And then our sentiment for the front is going to be stamped on this. And then we're going to cut that out with this rectangle stitch die. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start by uh, stamping. And, um, oops, there, I knew I had some more that I was going to use to stamp on. I am going to stamp my little tree on this Whisper White right here. And then my big tree, I have already laid it out on my Stamparatus because I'm going to stamp it on this piece. And then we're going to die cut it. And, uh, let me move this one right here. And I am using three different ink colors to color and ink up our tree. I'm going to lay this right here. Hmm. Let me lay it like this because I've got my little tree right there already. Okay. We're going to start with crumb cake. I'm going to scoot this this away. I'm hoping y'all can see this. <sighs> got fuzzies or something. But now I'm going to have to put my noggin down here because I want to make sure that I get this inked this trunk inked like I want it to be inked. Okay, now I'm going to close that one up. Then I'm going to take my Cajun craze and I am just going to do some light inking with Cajun craze. Then I'm going to use Calypso Coral. But before I do that, I am going to stamp this on our Whisper White here. Like this. Okay. Oh. That's in my way. And I'm going to, oh, it's trying to come off. No wonder it don't want to open it up. Now, that looks funky. I know, looks ridiculous. But we're going to clean our stamp. Get everything off of here, and then I am going to come in with the Calypso Coral, and we're going to, I'm going to stamp a little more firmly with this than I did 
with the Cajun craze, but I'm gonna try and get everybody here kind of inked up. And if it's not exactly like I want it, you know what we can do because this is on Stamparatus, we can come back and re ink a little better. And there, mm, not exactly how I was wanting it. I'm going to come down this away some more, and uh, I'm going to come back over this away with this. I just I want to make sure. In fact, I'm going to take it off. <laughs> I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to pick it up. That way, I can see more what I'm doing here. I think. I'm going to come around this way and see I don't want such a straight line with it and I don't care if I get it on my now then we're going to see if this works if this is how I want it okay oh yeah that's more like I wanted it I am very pleased with that one. Very pleased with it. It's, it looks totally different from my other one. But I'm going to come back and show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, clean this off. And I'm going to I want to get all of that off. I'm going to come back with my crumb cake. I'm going to give it just a little bit of this. Mm -mm. Just a little bit of this. Just a little bit. Ta-da! Yeah, not too bad. Looks totally different from my other one. I'm telling you, totally different. <laughs> but you know, whenever you use colors like this, they're not all going to be the same. They never look the same because you can't ink them up just alike. And so they're not going to be just alike. But, you know, I am really liking this. I think I like this better than my first one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now we're going to turn this around. And, uh... I'm just going to turn it around like this. In fact, I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to... This right here. And I'm going to get my small piece of Whisper White right here. And we're going to... I'm thinking right there. Nope. Right here's... Nope. <laughs> right... Well, it's not going right where I thought I had it to, to go. There. That'll work. Better work. Okay. Let's stick that up there. Now, this is the tricky part. I'm going to take this off because I'm going to do the same thing with this little tree. And I am going to ink up my trunk. That looks pretty good. I'm going to leave these open because I'm going to do our uh, envelopes too. I'm going to do them like this too, yeah. And then we're going to do some Cajun craze. I'm going to just come around like this. Look at there, I'm making a nice mess with it. Okay. We're going to come down, we're going to ink it and clean it. Yeah, I smeared. <laughs> I smeared that really good. Okay. Now, we're going to come. Look there. I stuck the corner in the Cajun craze. Let me move that. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to use our Eclipse of Coral. And we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to try and get a little more Clipso coral color here. It's hard to see like this. And uh, I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm getting. Okay. 
I may have too much Calypso coral on here. I don't know. Hmm. I may not have enough. I don't know that either. But ta-da! That looks pretty good. That looks pretty, pretty good. Okay. Now we're going to clean her up. And we are going to get our envelope. And we're going to have to move all of this. Because our envelope is going to be down here in this corner where we're going to stamp our envelope. So we're going to put our envelope right here. Plop her down. We're going to put our tree right here. We're going to pick her up. And then we're going to start with our crumb cake. And we're going to stamp up our trunk again. We're going to use our Calypso Coral to stamp up our tree. Now this tree is going to go on the inside of our card instead of on the front. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we're going to come down, stamp it on our envelope. Clean it off. Have y'all noticed that my Stamperette, uh, my Stamperette, my Simply um, Chamois doesn't seem to want to, and look there, I have just got crumb cake all over. It doesn't seem like it wants to stay um, wet long enough. It dries out too quick, because I soaked this before I got in here, so it would be nice and wet, and uh, thank you, Debbie. Oh, I love my Stamparatus, too. Love it, love it, love it. But it seems like it's just not holding that wetness as long as it did when I first got it. Maybe I've used it too much. I don't know. Maybe it's because when it dries out between uses, because, you know, I go sometimes days without being, getting in my craft room because of my job. And look there. That looks pretty good. Yay! I like it. Let's Go ahead, and while we're at it, we're just going to go ahead and do the other envelope. That way I won't have to drag this stuff back out when I get through. And, um, but, uh, th yeah, that may be what it is. It could be this because it dries out totally between uses, and, uh, maybe it just doesn't keep its wetness because of that. I don't know. I'm just a guessing here. <laughs> I'm just a guesser. <laughs> you know. But anywho, it just it dries out quicker than I would like for it to. But uh, usually there's still enough moistness whenever I'm using my Stamparatus to use it, you know, before I get through. And uh, if not, I'll go wet it. Which is fine too. It's just I don't want to do that while I've got y'all here. You know? Okay. Put that down. Close that one up. With my chamois. Clean it off. Whew. Boy, I got that. Cajun craze everywhere, didn't I? Yippee. I think I got it all around. Look at that. What a mess I am making. Okay, clip so coral. Tell you what, I am just ready for the trees to start changing colors. We got this huge oak tree in our backyard that lightning got. And uh, Johnny says it'll take it a couple of years to total, you know, to die. But it hit a main branch that went right down to the center and down to the root of this huge huge tree in our backyard that's been here since well it was already big when we bought our home and uh I'm, it just breaks my heart <laughs> that we're going to lose our tree and uh, because we don't have any more big ones in the backyard there was two okay size ones up close to the house but they were too close to the house and we had those cut down and uh, when they got big and limbs started wanting to come off of them, 
and uh, so that's our last tree in their backyard so but it it is what it is and it happens and and I think Johnny needs to go ahead and plant a tree now <laughs> so that the next generation will have a big tree to enjoy when we are gone. You know what I'm saying? They need a tree in their backyard. Okay, I'm, let me move my stamparatus over here out of my way. And uh, we are going to start. Let me see now. What else is it we're just going to do? Here's our layers. I'm going to do that. This is our oval. This is our rectangle. This goes on the inside. Oh, yes, we've got to cut these babies out. That is what we have got to do. We have got to cut these out right here. And uh, let's uh, get our big shot over here. We're going to... Do the tree, the big tree, and we're going to do the oval. This oval is going to go behind our big tree. Okay, now. Let me, we need to stamp just real quick. Just real quick, let me move this. Okay, we want to, all righty. This right here. This is what we're going, we're going to ink this in the uh, Cajun craze and stamp it on our, uh, let me see. To thank you for all you do. That's what this one is. Okay, this one is to thank you for all you do. And we're going to ink it up in this cage of craze and stamp it on this uh, crumb cake. I'm just going to stamp it right there. I know it's just like I, did, I messed it up. And <laughs> then there's another side because I want to stamp it again. Okay. Now, we are going to take this piece of crumb cake and we're going to stamp our inside sentiment on it. And it is words are never enough. Words, okay, I had to look at it to make sure I had it in the right direction. I didn't want to stamp it upside down. I have done that before. Of course, there's another side and I could have turned it over. And look there. Got it straight. First try. The other one I had to flip. <laughs> okay. Now, this over here out of the way, this right over here, these two right here, we're going to cut out real quick with our big shot. And then we're going to emboss. We're going to find what we did with our little tree. Die. We're going to this. Now, this die right here goes where it wants to, so I just follow it. Now then, i got to find my little tree. What did I do with my little tree? There it is. It's hiding from me. I tell you. This one scooted on the first one. See, it's wanting to scoot too. It wants to go where it wants to go, and it scooted, and I have this big white space on this side of my tree. <laughs> because of it but this is going to be this can be all right this is going to be all right i think we're going to have it on that side never mind let me scoot this this away just a little all right now then okay i just hit that up against the back of the counter all right now right over there yep it scooted that's okay it's all right. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. All right. Now then, we're going to take this piece off. We're going to put our regular Big Shot platform down. We are going to take one piece of our crumb cake. We're going to line it up 
like right here in our embossing folder and we're going to send it through our big shot and then well I say I'm gonna send it through my big shot let me turn it around have to go in with the it helps if I use both of these doesn't it oh my goodness gracious let me try this again always put the photo of your embossing folder going into your big shop first that way it does not have a chance to get a little fold or anything in it and break <laughs> and use both of your regular plates with your embossing plate <laughs> and there we are ta-da is that not nice i love this I think it looks so nice. Okay, now that's going to go on the front of our card. So we're going to put the inside together. Let's put these layers on the inside real quick. Like this. Look at all these fuzzies I've got. Y'all still with me? Okay. Whew, there's a gnat in here. That there, we are going to lay this one down. See, I'm, I did not want any color between these. I wanted this crumb cake on crumb cake. And I like, I'm liking how it looks. Okay, now then, this is embossed, so I'm going to use extra liquid glue i'm going to get it as close to the edge as i can and of course i'm going to have it all over me but i want it to lay down like it's supposed to along the edges yeah look at that i got it in the on my heel of my hand too, but that's okay. Then I'm gonna it all over here. Doo -doo. Okay. Okay, I'm wipe that on my shirt. Alrighty, now yeah, see if I can get this all lined up nicely. Just like this. Scooch it up just a smidge. Now See, when you get it right there real close, right at the edge, I've got it over this way a little too far, but that's okay. I will not be moving this baby. Uh, it sits down, and it doesn't pucker up. And that's what I like about using the liquid glue. I can get closer to the edge with the liquid glue than I can with snail. Let me put my little tree on the inside. I totally forgot that. Of course, it wasn't going anywhere. But uh, I want to put it in there. Okay. Like that right there. Right. And we're going to attach our tree to our oval. Just a little bit. Don't have to have a whole lot. Because you're just going to attach it to our oval. Like that right there. Scoot it over a little bit. Now then, get our dimensionals. We have to have our dimensionals. So we're gonna put dimensionals all over the back of these. Well, let me see, which one's the right side? That other side is the right side. This is the wrong side. This is the side I messed up. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, we're almost got all these on here. One more, and we've got that right over there. Put our tree right here. Okay. 
And our sentiment, whoopsie, I didn't pull that one off. I thought I did. I think my sentiment's down a little low, but not much. I'll put it right there. Ta-da! There we are, guys. Everything's done. Everything's done. All right. My computer's being wacky. <laughs> All righty, here we are. Here is my first one. See the difference in the colors? Look how much darker this one is than this one. I got Cajun Craze more around the outside and the Calypso Coral more in the middle. And see my uh, crumb cake, I did it a little different. I like this one better. And I think I like the coloring in this one better. So I think with the Calypso Coral and the Cajun Craze kind of blended together that it makes it a little darker, but it just, I don't know. I like it. I like it. And here, see, cut it out too far on this side and too far on this side on this one. That's a hard judgment here with this. But anyway, here's our second card. Let's see if I've got it right where you can see it well. And let me get our first card here. And, um, I want it where you y'all can see both of them good. And, uh, okay, I'll show y'all the inside of this one since it's not messy. <laughs> okay, so here's our first card with, uh, excuse me, with Country Home. And then our second card with Rooted in Nature. Okay. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> hey, Janice. Oh, thank you, Jesse. I'm glad you like it. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for coming and joining me this evening. I really appreciate that. And uh, I'll tell you, it's... Uh... <laughs> Last Tuesday, I, I haven't told y'all this, uh, my team knows because that I put it on our team page because uh, I asked for prayers. But last Tuesday, I was at work Tuesday evening, and my daughter texted me and asked me to start praying hard for Brock. Brock is our youngest grandson. It's her youngest son. And um, he had gotten hit during the football game. And it wasn't a local game. It was out of town. And uh, they were on the way to the hospital in that town with him and I thought okay he just got banged up just a little bit and he's going to be okay but then she takes me back and told me they were going to Birmingham going to take him to Children's Hospital well this made me lost it then because you take a child to Children's it's more serious and so I start squalling and I called Johnny I said you got to go down there because I couldn't I couldn't get off uh I was at work. I couldn't even go down when I got off because I had to be at work so early the next morning, you know, because I don't know, you normally work Wednesdays, but I had to last Wednesday. And uh, I told him, he said, you got to go down there. And he said, I don't know if I can find my way, um, especially after dark. Johnny has the problems of seeing real well after dark. And um, so I call, called her son, and he, he came, and they got my car and went down there. And... Um, she was messaging me from the ambulance, and um, she told me that uh, one of the other boys from the other team's shoulder pad had caught his helmet and jerked his, when he came back up, he jerked his head back and jerked his neck, and he heard his neck pop. Now, this grandson is like 11. And uh, they did not have any rescue personnel or anybody like that at the field. Our school over here that are my grandchildren, these grandchildren go to, do not play their football games at all without without per emergency personnel, and they will hold games until they're there. And so my grandson was so scared that he was afraid to move, and he laid very still on the field. 
until an ambulance got there and um when my daughter got in with them the ambulance driver told her they didn't even know that this little town was was playing a football game and um so they didn't even know that they needed to be there well this really scared me because you know my thoughts were is his neck broken is he going to be paralyzed? Then she sends me back. She says, he's moving his arms. He can move his arms. He can move his legs and his mouth. He said, she said he was talking 90 to nothing, but being as still as he could be, but that he could move his arms and legs. Well, you know, that's a relief to an extent. They get him down there and they do a C scan and uh, there's no broken bones in his neck. But when they took the neck brace off and started mashing around, the sides were okay, but when they mashed in the back where the, head, the neck and the skull connect, through the, the um, pain medicine they had given him, he felt the pain of that. So their first thoughts then was ligaments and tendons messed up in his neck so they call a neurosurgeon in and he looks at it and he looks at the c scan and he checks him and he just i mean by this time i've got prayer warriors all over town praying and uh god answered our prayers he said it was whiplash that's all it was whiplash and our little guy He's a little, little guy. He's big for his age. But God laid his hands on him. And he's going to be okay. My son-in-law said that today he wasn't even hurting. But he has to wear that neck brace till the end of the week when he goes back to the doctor. And, you know, it just shows another miracle that God can do. He can take care of... Our children and our grandchildren and uh, answers prayers. And uh, I'm so ever grateful for all of my prayer warriors I have. Uh, my Sunday school class, my church, my boss. I'm telling you, my boss and my boss's wife are awesome prayer warriors because after I called Johnny, I called him. And then I called one of the uh, the lady at church that puts it out on our church prayer list that goes out to all of our cell phones, you know. So everybody at church knew and they, everybody was praying. So, so I'm just praising God for the miracle. He's so awesome. And I just want everybody to know how awesome he is and how thankful and grateful I am that he laid his healing hands on my grandson. And, it was, and I want to tell y'all something else. My daughter doesn't speak of this, but to me, usually. But God touches her in special ways when someone is hurt or sick. And after they had gotten to the hospital, she called me. And she was calm as a cucumber. Here I had been squalling my eyes out at work. And she's calm as a cucumber. And she says, Mom, he's going to be okay. And I knew God had talked to her. He had let her feel that. And uh, this is, he's not the first one. He's not the first one. Our son's youngest, when he got his leg got ran over, she was the same way with him on the way down to the hospital. We were on the way down to Children's with to, to be with him. She told me the same thing. Mommy's going to be okay. And she had that same calmness. You know, I wish I had that calmness that she has. Oh, but I'm thankful that God gave it to her. So that I know whenever things are going to be okay, she tells me. So anyway, that's all of my story. And I just want to tell y'all how much I love y'all and how much I appreciate y'all. And I appreciate y'all praying for my grandson. And I appreciate uh, that y'all pray for me. I know you do. Because I feel them. And I want y'all to know that I pray for y'all. And... 
you know, good Lord willing, next Monday evening, I'm going to be right back here at 7 Central. And we're going to do this again. And we're going, when I'm not going to have a teary-eyed conversation. <laughs> at least not, that's not in my plans. But anyway, uh, but we're going to do, you know, some, we're going to create something. I'm hoping by then I will have my... Chris, my holiday catalog order and we can make something from there but if not I'll make something from somewhere <laughs> you know so y'all have a blessed evening y'all have a blessed week and get in your crafty room and get crafty and let me see your creations I love you guys I'll see y'all next Monday good lord willing bye